Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, an evangelist at Microsoft in the UK. In this screencast, we're going to have a look at Windows Server Core, a lightweight installation of any edition of Windows, not a separate product in its own right. And on top of that, I'm going to put the new version of SQL Server, project name Denali. Let's get started. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. Denali Core. I'm going to leave the memory as is. I'm going to connect it to my internal virtual network so I can domain join it later. I'm going to create a new hard disk for it. And now I'm going to go and change its settings. I'm going to boot from a DVD. I'll just go and find that now. I'm going to add a second hard disk because that's got all my other installation folders on it. I've already created that, which you can just do from the standard disk and partition tools in any Windows machine. Create a new VHD. You can then create a simple volume on it, format it, and then put whatever files on it that you want. And I've already done all of that and created this coreresources.vhd. As for memory, I'm going to make it dynamic because I'm using Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1, and I'm going to just give it a meg to start with. That's pretty much everything I need. And now I'm going to start it. OK, the machine's booted OK. I'm just going to change it to the UK because that's where I work. Install now. And this is where I choose the server core installation. And this is irrevocable. You can't go back on this once you decide to do it. You have to reinstall. I click Next. Set the license terms. Choose Custom. Install to my new hard disk. You can see my other hard disk there. And off I go. And the time is now 2021 on the 3rd of August. And now I've logged into the machine, time now 2026, so just five minutes to install that, not too shabby. And that's because Windows Server Core is very, very lightweight indeed. As you can see from this console, there's no server manager. In fact, there's not much of anything on here. Here's a quick run through of what you can see. Notepad. Fantastic. Registry editor. Amazing. And of course, task manager. That's your lot out the box. So to configure this, do anything very much, we've got to do it from the command line and we've got to learn some new tools. To learn how to do that, click on the link above to take you to the next video in this series.